What's up, Trios Tribe? Bringing you guys another um, uh, special release booster 2.0 attack games Oceana Ultimate Cup uh, event. Very exciting. Uh, 2.0 has been a pretty pretty breath of fresh air. This is the second time I'm recording this. The first video, if you saw, <laughs> had issues. So um, we're just going to run it back. Be, keep it simple. Keep it easy. Keep it light. Um, maybe a little faster this time. Um, looking at our top 16, Fenrir Lugamon takes the whole thing. But, like, that being said, the the Lord Nightmon problem that everyone was really worried about, not really coming out in force here. Only a single Lord Nightmon X topping this event kind of says a lot. The event was 93 players, 7-round tournament. Pretty pretty solid numbers for all the way in Oceana. Um, respectable numbers in Oceana, I, I would say. Um, Purple Hybrid, probably of the new decks, the deck that... Uh, had the most success followed by like a deck I, I considered a sleeper deck for sure um going into the format um red uh ancient graymon definitely coming out uh, to me i thought was a little slept on in terms of like what youtube was saying and now i think people have definitely woken up and realized you know the three new cards they got kind of do a lot for the deck um and then we even have one Emperor Grey here, which is really cool. Purple Hybrid, again, sh being uh, showing up in force, the most represented deck. Technically five Purple Hybrid lists. We, uh, we, we have one listed as Beelstar, just to kind of divvy it up a little bit, because that one was a little unique enough. And, but, like, really, uh, Leviamon being the real purple, like, runaway. Um, two, two decks representing Leviamon, and I just feel like Leviamon is just a little scarier than Lord Knight, but uh, we'll get into that when we get into that. Let's start with uh, 16th place, Anthony Dumont's list. Uh, Emperor Greymon. We have this separate from Ancient Greymon because there is not a single Ancient Greymon in here. Um, it's Emperor Greymon. It's using all of the new red red hybrid uh, collection, spirit unification, wind to flame, ice to sword, shenanigans. A really interesting list. I wish... I wish we I could try like I wish I was good enough to figure out a Magna Garumon list that was good enough to top 16 something. I just I feel like the yellow stuff doesn't have the fundamental like baseline support that red has. Stuff like, you know, Aldemon and stuff like having a rookie that can you can Evo on top of is just the little things like that really push red just a little bit higher. That being said, not a single Susanomon in sight. We are just pure red aggression here. It's really cool. Um, the interesting notes from me is like we are we're favoring the Kaze. We're fav we're figure we are favoring the Zoe side. So we are four Kaze, three Silphy or uh, Zephyr, four Jet Silphy, four Zoe. Even cutting Tommy down to two, and then uh, Takuya Koji at four. That is something interesting in my testing. I was like maybe we don't play this at four, but here we are. Uh, Penguin Mon here as a rookie is really interesting because because we are cutting on Tommy, we need more blue. So we need a more oh more consistent blue source, and we see it in Penguin Mon, and we need the blue source for uh, wind wind to flame, ice to sword, and that that that's the Emperor Greymon. I mean, the Emperor Greymon is a really good boss monster combined with the Takuya Koji. You can get four checks in a single turn, depending if you were able to attack into something or not, which most time you might be able to because it does uh so this on digivolve does suspend something so you have to be a little reactive it's a little based on your opponent what like your opponent you have to play your opponent has to play into it which means sometimes like they have digimon on board man and then the source stripping is so good and, and very disruptive and very it's good man very strong um that being said uh no a very solid list 16th place congrats anthony now we have to talk about the only Lord Nightmon list that uh, that was able to top uh, Alex Downey, 15th place. Um, we're running things like the Bastemon. We're running, uh, we're actually making room for, for one of the Garurumon X antibodies. Rest in peace. Gabumon, uh, as a Garurumon player, man, I just it hurts that Garurumon's so close to good and then Imperial just shuts it down, man. <sighs> Sucks. Anyway, that being said, just, you know, just kind of what we've expected from uh, Lord Knight over over this development here, uh, four four boosts, four trainings, just being just wanting to just sit on a rookie in the back and then just do everything in a single turn. 
The only problem is I feel like people are wising up and they're being punished for it. Playing more floodgates, playing playing both floodgates. Uh, can't reduce Evo cost and can't gain memory. Uh, really slow this deck down. And uh, Lord Knight is also kind of fragile. Um, if you're able to delete, get rid of their first board, it takes them a, it takes them probably too many turns to remake that board. Even th even think about remaking that board, you're probably uh, losing the game by the time they can actually establish a new board again. So depending on how much memory you give them, uh, and then three pearl form one of the X antibody. My my mean side, the mean side of me always wants to ask: Is this a is it a is this a wallet decision or is this a uh, actual tech decision? I want to say it is a tech decision because sometimes you do just want to attack with the Lord Knight, go into the X antibody and do some shenanigans, but uh or or any any of your other other uh x forms just attack going to cerberus isn't a bad uh, bad play as well um that being said uh no congrats alex a little fast because this, this is like my second time doing this uh we have to talk about the only imperial that was able to top imperial is still a very scary deck if they get this turn two pyodramon combo there's just nothing most people can do it's just so gross so much power in a single turn and just defensive structure as well being your whole opponent just essentially missing out on two turns like it's it's so gross um that being said and, and then then yeah being able to chain pyodramons is so annoying like this thing i feel like this thing should have should have said like the things it's suspended can't unsuspend um like the fact that it's just this global effect it probably is just a little too pushed that being said tyler 14th place tyler chin's uh imperial list finding room to play the starter deck dragon mode the dragon mode just allows for some really gross turns especially if you have the memory for it with a uh, return to the primogenitor one pyodramon from bt12 just to kind of mix things up keep things a little different and then on top of that uh a bt12 fighter mode um but that being said oh no purple worm on man what <laughs> i'm joking your list is great uh three progenitor and then the classical you know five or six tamer lineup um uh, that being said no congrats on 14th place then we get to talk about uh four purple hybrids so let's enjoy um this is this one will be hamish hamish redcliffe uh 12th place purple hybrid and this is like baseline purple hybrid and that is what i am doing um there's no I wouldn't say there's any like tricks, but man, are we playing security bombs? We are playing four, five, six, seven, um, 13, just like security value options. And then, an and then another 11 tamers. So what, what was that? 20, like that's somewhere north of like 25, 26. I can't do the mental math right now. 26, uh, triggers and security potentially. It's like half your deck is just security, which is pretty good in terms of just being able to clap back and win the game. Uh, notably we're on the Merva, uh, top end. That way we have the Merva, like the Merva sure can give things rush or retail or whatever, especially if like Kaiser. So the Kaiser Leo can digivolve on top of something. And now you have retail, um, dust can digivolve on top of Velger for one. Yeah. So like you have like you can there's worlds where you play Merva and then all your retail guy make make retail guys and then they have rush. But I really think the real win con with Merva Mon a lot of the time is just like milling your opponent out. And that's it. Uh because the Velgramon is an on play effect, you there are turns where you just like you just have like a board set up where like they have four colors, maybe even five colors, especially with all the tamer decks out there. And then they have five colors, and then you just have a turn where you go triple, triple Velgramon and a double Velgramon, and then play them back out with Mervamon. You just it just did twenty cards. That's gonna deck out most decks, honestly. Um, and then you don't care because you'll deck out too, maybe, but your opponent's the first place to draw off of that scenario. On the Demi Maramon, more than the Cupimon stands out to me. I think just valuing the draw over the memory. The memory seemed like it was the more important effect but i guess not um one lou uh will you'll start you'll notice the pattern that koichi bt7 is the better tamer that people prefer to be on mostly probably because of the on deletion game of memory but i don't think the yellow ones to be slept on either uh playing for four is rough but it does set up your trash every turn recycles a piece from trash when attacking and then you know it still gains it gains you the same memory and then also just draws you a card from your trash which is pretty good i think 
I think the it's just place for four, and I think that's what keeps people off of it. Ah, the next list. Uh, we get to talk about Joseph Christ Lumpas. Lumapas. Lumapas. Uh, we're playing the yellow top end, so we're playing a lot more of the yellow stuff in this version. Uh, still maxing out on Ukos, actually making room for Takuya Koji, just allowing us, uh, kind of forcing us to have more Leo, Loe, and Kaiser on the list. But now at least we're not on, if you saw the previous list, we were on, what, 10 champions, maybe 9? I know that we maxed out Velgar, we maxed out Loe, but not, or Dusk, but not, like, 1 or 2 Kaisers, so we had 10 champions. Definitely upping those numbers here. Um, just playing a mix of everything that is good. Actually playing level fives to support our little bit of a yellow top. And Shadow Seraphimon Ace is definitely a good card. It definitely gets a lot of people out of search. Like the things this does to Magna X is so funny to me. It's so strong. Um, and then Venus Mon just can't can't turn on when Digivolvings, man. That's it. Um, pretty good. And then Shine Ruin mode because, you know, if you have a yellow purple level six, why there's kind of, it's hard to justify not running a Shine Ruin mode. Our Tamer lineup, uh, again, BT7 maxed out, Koichi a little less. Uh, one, low on the Matashita count, which is interesting because the Matashita is really what allows the Velgor Dusk, uh, Duskmon loop to really just do what you want. <laughs> Um, but Takuya Koji, just, you know, Blitz, hybrid, hybrid Blitz for game is a... Uh, pretty dope uh that, that being said let's go on to the next purple hybrid list this is um uh, this is i think this is will yeah this is will dawson's purple hybrid list uh again no so you're seeing a return to form with uh the tamer count uh higher one more koichi but one less matt actually finding time to play the uh, deity deity still a good card is the only problem is you have to have a hybrid or a tamer already established to start ignoring these color conditions which is relevant um but uh, Mastermon. Playing Mastermon here is, like, instead of, uh, second Mervamon is interesting, just because, like, we are on the one Rihi, but do we have enough memory to keep turn? Well, like, trashing security is really cool, but we're not, I, I wonder what, like, okay, so, like, I get it, like, this plays another Valgromon if we need it. Um, this plays out any of our lower fours or the Ignite, but it doesn't play out anything. Oh, I got, we got the Rush Geo, so maybe if there's a world we keep turn, we trash the security and play the Rush Geo, so we essentially did. Uh, it's just an extra way to, like, if you're at one, you're now, that's game at this point, which is kind of sick. Um, some interesting, and even playing Deathclaw to delete our own stuff is, is, is interesting as well. I, I see a world where you, like, um... Uh, I, I see a world where like you Velgramon turn their guy purple, use their guy to delete something on board, and then now you can deathclaw your own Velgra, still get all the value you want, delete something else. I guess um, it's just it's interesting stuff. Uh, no, congrats on eighth place, Will. Then we get to talk about uh, Jeffrey Yang, different Jeffrey Yang's list uh, again, a little a little bit of an in between. Uh, we're playing Argomon, which is a huge, huge counter counter card for uh, for uh, versus tamer matchups. Just suspending all and all your opponent's tamers, um, or at least up to five of your opponent's tamers to to go into your level five for free is kind of busted. And then it has the effect that none of your opponent's tamers can unsuspend. Just period. That just crushes the mirror. I imagine um, they really they essentially you skip their turn for almost like two turns or something depending on how it all goes but that that's rough i can see i can see maybe that's why like something like deathclaw really helps you get around that and then we're actually even introducing deltamon deltamon is probably gonna is probably an all-star card to come out of for a common this card is crazy on play when did you bomb and deletion every purple deck is like trying to find room for this thing it's an in your list you just always have a reason to be playing it playing our floodgates makes sense uh one of the kaiser just to have a body for retail that just always has rush off of merva makes sense reheat just evoing into your fives for cheap will always be good in this game um and no oh, rivals barrage miss memory boost playing finding time for lou and ag none of these lists were running lugamon and then this is the first list to actually even have ag at all is an interesting shift in what purple hybrid is doing but and we actually upped our cupid count by one which is fun then we got to talk about probably the most unique purple hybrid list um mother hybrid beal star shoto purple <laughs> 
um you know like for a while now we've been getting solid seven cost options for beal star right we've gotten shine of b shine of b does so so much for and then Heaven's Judgment, we all know how good Heaven's Judgment is, especially when you have Mother behind it, always giving you a white source. We have a, there are worlds where we have one, we have one, two, three extra colors, so four colors, and it's just really like this Shoto Kazuma allowing, uh, giving us access to not only just Heaven's Judgment, but Shine of B because of Heaven's Judgment's alternate condition. Like this one card is given Bale Star access to. Uh, off color seven cost options and it's it's just allowing it to have that extra strength now that i say that koichi is also a new card because of the purple hybrid base engine here it also gives us access to heaven's judgment as well obviously but then violet and boots unironically is one of it's just a tamer that balestar has been missing they've been wanting a memory setter and matt is great and all but being able like all mad mad sucks like turn one turn two when your trash isn't even set up and then like when you play it you recycle one thing but violin and boots lets you set up your trash and keep digging for your bail stars like you still have like in this deck you still you don't draw right so you still need to find your bail stars so not only is this a memory setter but you're uh, it's allowing you to discard any of your options that you don't want and you honestly you want him trash anyway because of bail star and then you just you dig into finding your bail star which is huge the only the only thing that's like got me a little like shooken up is like we're not even on the we're not on the ace i guess we can't be we can't be on the ace but we're not on the x anybody at all which i think i thought there was value in having the x anybody maybe i'm wrong maybe i have to reread that card but uh i didn't say this person's name this is dat and win uh sixth place uh bail star purple hybrid list really cool really interesting really exciting to see uh honest. I, as much as i hate mother Shoto stuff i kind of would rather it banned but whatever uh ancient gray actually talking about ancient gray ancient gray being one of the decks i thought was slept on on the lead up to 2.0 but now that we've had a couple 2.0 events people definitely have woken up and it's off the back of three cards i feel um two of those cards being represented in this list this is willick hong's uh huang 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 10th place list uh gigasmon and takuya koji this uh two card combo here is just like it is gross it is a it is a at all it off of the back of the purple purple red ancient Greymon, you can play the like you can play the takuya which gives you blitz and then the gigasman gives you rush so now you can as long as you keep turn with uh after the on deletion of ancient gray and anal and analog youth like kicking back to it to your turn you just have blitz hybrid for game at all times as long as you win into the red purple uh ancient gray which is disgusting um actually including one of the uh new aguimons that lets you recycle a piece from trash very a valuable effect don't get me wrong and it digivolves on burning gray for zero which is relevant in the sense it's it's relevant in the case of it's in relevant in the case of just digivolving up a line and now you have more sources for the old ancient Greymon because we are on high speed plugin this is our answer i imagine our answer to mother is to just go up the stack excuse me go up the stack go you know 10 checks with ancient Greymon unblockable and then end it with omnimon unblockable if you have if like with the one boost and maybe some of the memory um really cool ancient Greymon is now a mainstay and i wish just makes me wish that like the koji hybrid stuff didn't get swapped to yellow because just <sighs> um and then this is a very similar list uh this is the same list twice hmm Mm, maybe they do have the same list twice let's uh editing risu here uh let's go back um let's make sure i didn't get this is daniel oh no daniel's okay so this is daniel's list sorry daniel's list is a little different i think no no it's actually the same are will and daniel on the same list or did i just get this wrong um bu -bu 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 huh this is daniel this is will a little bit of live commentary for you guys looks like we have it as the same list you guys let me know if they actually were on the same list or on different lists but that's what we have on eggmanevents.com so if, if it's wrong correct us um but yeah will and daniel on the same will and daniel on the same list yeah that's that's what we have um 
let us know. Let us know if that's uh, that's wrong or not. But that let us move on. We'll talk about uh, Will. Great list. If you guys did work together on that list, that's really cool, Daniel and Will. But if if it's different, we'll correct it. Uh, just let us know. If, <sighs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this is fourth place Dane's list, and I'm pretty sure this is Digi Dane. So congrats to him. Congrats to, uh, I, I watched some of his tournament stream, funny enough. Um, uh, I try to, try to support the homies, you know. Um, but no, uh, you see the differences here. We're actually on Grav Crush and Atomic Inferno, making room for the Lu, and then our Ancient Guardian Deity as well. Actually even finding room to fit in this BT7 Takuya, which I'm sure he's got a video. But check out his video. Um, Takuya... This Takuya, I feel like it's falling out of favor, right? Because just, you're never getting the Emperor Greymon effect. And then this one gains you memory, which is kind of sick. Um, but a key point is probably the sec plus one probably comes up a lot, especially if you go full into this ancient. Do, this ancient doing three checks instead of two probably changes some turn math really well. Um, Shaman Mon, though. Shaman Mon is the uh, predicted third card I wanted to talk about that is found in Ancient Hybrid now. And red decks everywhere. Shaman, Shaman Mon, uh, just it's a memory blocker in red, and um, there's a lot of memory gain, non timber memory gain right now per between purple and blue, even greens gaining memory. Man, like, uh, it, it's just too, it's too real. And we all know the dog walking deck is is around there, so red getting access to a really solid uh, memory blocker, and then just also having access to just being able to clear out security before uh and deal with boards before uh moonwalking really gets established is disgustingly huge so it's nice to see congrats to digi dane uh fourth place check out his content check out his video on his own deck list um hear it from the horse's mouth because obviously they know why they did what they did more than me i'm just i got eggman links <laughs> Then we get to talk about uh, Leviamon. Leviamon, we had two topping Leviamon Xs. This one's fifth place, Dylan Tran's um, Leviamon list. Uh, has Lord Nightmon X as a top end, playing three protoform, uh, two Leviamon, two, three of the X antibody, playing Drago. It's just, you know, everyone had their eyes on how good Lord Nightmon was going to be. But I really think, even coming out of EX7, I came out thinking like, man, Leviamon is a really good deck. Uh, it's just being able to delete in the way that it does is just so strong. And then Leviamon X just allows for way more stuff to happen. And it's just, oh man, is it a, it's just a strong card, man. All, both of these combined do so much damage to a board. It's just, it's, it's rough. It is hard to deal with. Not many decks can. And, you know, I feel like they often lose to themselves more than anything else. I mean, maybe they lose to a security bomb is their biggest issue. But, man. And then we see Delta Mon. Delta Mon, again, being... And then the Dark Animal Engine just period. Just being here is really interesting and cool. Um, Seventh Lightning, Biting Crush. Still two very strong cards. Um, congrats. Uh, congrats, Dylan. Then we get to talk about the second Leviathan list. Uh, third place... Gary? Yeah, Gary. Uh, actually running a little bit heavier into the Gabumon, Garurumon stuff. You got a little bit of the two of a uh, starter deck, uh, Garurumon, and then a two of of the Gabumon uh, um, starter deck as well. And then one one of the one of the band cards, as they're as uh, as I like to call them, four protoform, two and two in the Binding Crush, seven lightning, only two boosts, but four trainings. Makes sense. Uh, not many decks are really running the can't reduce Digivolution cost uh, floodgates, but people might start wising up, especially with how eyes are on purple right now. Um, however, uh, no, Anubis Mon. Anubis Mon, you guys will notice, has been in all these purple decks. Uh, I, I, I feel like this card just needs to get banned, man. Um, I, it's kind of in the similar vein of hidden potential. I just don't think a single card should be able to, I don't think a single card in a deck should be able to alter your win rate so heavily. An Anubismon game compared to a non-Anubismon game for this deck must be, the win rate must be ridiculous. Uh, and the same with HPD. I, I think it falls under one of those just like HPD kind of cards. It's just not, it's just not fair. 
Um, fair is not a good word, but you guys get my kind of, I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from when I say that. Uh, just, I, I think this one card is too powerful, even at one. It's just not, it's just not healthy. Um, playing Octo, Drago, because we it's all of Iamon all the time, baby. <laughs> Um, Lotmon here again for the plus 3k as our answer to mother because as funny as it is it's so funny to me that this giant ass Leviathan X just kind of folds to mother if they don't have the DP it's it's it's, it's it shouldn't be as funny as it is to me and I I don't I don't know what else to say but uh congrats Gary and we have to talk about Mirage we have two Mirage lists to talk about Mirage is just a staple card man uh, this is 13th place Kyle's list. Uh, adding the new, the latest in a long line of uh, utility level sixes that Blue has access to. Um, Ryugamon. Ryugamon is strong. It, it deals with problems and can deal with any, it deals with level six problems. It deals with any problem. And if you decode, you just refuel the body and call it a day, man. So that's hilarious to me. But uh, actually on the Gaumon from BT11 is surprising to me. And actually still on these like jamming level uh, level threes remains the surprising. The Gaumon is less surprising, but I feel like Blue has space to just move into full uh, floodgate mode with their rookies. But that being said, we are on like uh, the, Gaumon, the Galgamon that bounces level threes. Three, only three of the light cl Nightclaw uh, Galgamon is interesting to me just because like this one is the one that does so much craziness, honestly. <laughs> um, that being said, Lanamon, Zudamon, it's very standard Mirage list. Actually, a return to form with the Tamer count. Six Tamer counts has been standard for a long time, but we have been seeing some people drop down. Four trainings, two memory boosts, one ice wall. It's Mirage, man. I don't think, and oh, side note, I don't think BT12 Mirage Gao needs to get hit. I think it's, I think the Nightclaw... Uh, Light Fang engine is the problem over Mirage, but I'm not gonna die on that hill. If, if it gets banned, then like if it gets it bans banned, man, I'm not. I don't. Know, I really don't. To put Mirage on the same level as an Anubis or a Apocly is insane to me personally, but not hating. Um, and then we get to talk about our. Uh, this is a higher place. This is second place Marcus Villamore's uh, Mirage list, and this is what I was saying. Like you have room. You have the potential because you have so much jamming elsewhere and other things to um, just have floodgates, man. Just play with floodgates and keep them. Uh, also, the Bukumon, the, the previous list wasn't running the Bukumon, I don't think, but four Bukumon so we can play, just play stuff and gain memory, which is really good. Hexblau being such a good uh, utility level six in the deck, allowing us to get over things that, you know, we probably shouldn't normally. Is really good uh, mirage again I, I think it's a fine card i think people it's just it is what it is uh mac galgamon hunku playing the new hunkumon that has an on play it's funny that this deck is running playing the new hunkumon but not the not the previous list that's running the ryugumon uh because this one actually has an on play so can't be deleted by your opponents uh we can't be deleted by battle one of your digimon can't be deleted by battle which is huge and then the inheritable this digimon's attack can't be changed is huge and it also just because we're running this it justifies not running uh the other one but sorry the uh the mac galgamon that doesn't get redirected as well um but that's being that being said it's a really good list thank you marcus second place congrats to your success i'm i just i'm not i'm not a mirage hater oh but we are lower on the tamer count to max out on our searchers which is yikes but sometimes you only need the one tamer you just gotta get there then we get to talk about Jordan Wheatley's first place list, Fenrir. And I want to be excited. Woo! Fenrir. Fenrir is a good deck. I love Fenrir. I, I miss the old Fenrir. I'm not a fan of Tamagotchi mode, to be fair. Um, I wish I was, but I'm not. Um, but I I just feel like Fenrir has been solved at this point. I mean, I feel like this is just kind of similar to many of the lists we've seen before. Maybe a slight difference in the Uko uh, Red Lugamon count. One less Skullbaluchi. I see more people run too, but definitely there's been a trend towards playing Hell Lugarmon again as a, as a really good way to do things for the deck. Uh, Analog Youth at four, five Tamers, two of the Demon Castle, not even playing Trainings, I feel like is kind of become the, the norm for Kazuchi, three Tamagotchi modes four Fenrir Lugamons. Uh, on the Dora Goromon package is really the biggest choice you have to make as a Fenrir Lugamon package or Fenrir Lugamon player. 
are you going to play the Lugarmons or are you playing the Doru stuff? The Logarmons give you more memory. The Dorumon stuff kind of get like for the most part give you more consistency is the way it's looked upon, I would say. Um, and I think it's a fair and it's a tough choice because we've seen success from both. Um, it's just I think the Darugamon package has had more higher success, if that makes sense. like winning an event, for example. Um, but that being said, Jordan, congratulations. Um, this is a this is a re a reshoot, a, re, a retake of this video. So you guys know how it is. Um, Eggmanevents.com. Check us out. Um, I've been really busy lately. You I guys have, have you, if you guys have seen, uh, I've been streaming um, the Eagle event. I've been streaming a bunch of events lately. Um, and it's really cool that I've been able to do that. I know the Europeans are waiting for their top 16 lists for their EX7 event. I will get to it. I promise. I just am busy and I'm lazy and I'm human and i do this for free <laughs> um i do this for the fun of it remember like if there's one thing you remember about reese the squirrels he does it for the fun of it he doesn't do it for much else <laughs> um like share subscribe eggmanevents.com you guys know where to hit it if i don't do a video you guys know where it's gonna be anyway uh like share subscribe check us out eggmanevents.com eggmanevents.com uh that's it i don't know